Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about multiple storms forming with an area disturbed weather south of Jamaica, then also another area in the Atlantic, and then of course we're still going to be dealing with Ada all week long. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family that may be in the path of these storms. So let's kind of delve right into it. Here is where we stand so far in this hurricane season. And it has been a very active year. This is through November the 8th. And you can see we typically only average about 11.4 storms as of today. And we've had 28 named storms. Typically, we average about a little over 55 days of stormed names. We've had 104, so pretty much double. We typically average six. And we've had 12 hurricanes. Uh, so you can see every, every stat is well above normal. And even the accumulated cyclone energy, what they call the ACE index, is still 158%. So this has been a, a very active year, active year, to say the least. Now let's take a look at where the storms have landed. I mean, there's actually been 12 named storms that have that, that have made landfall in the United States through uh, yesterday. And here's the uh, the graph on the on the on the right here from a tropical storm all the way down to a category five. And you can see all the different names of Hannah and Texas to Beta. And then we had, you know, Laura and Delta, then Zeta, then Cristobal, then Marco, then we had Sally hit. Then we had uh, Bertha in South Carolina, Isais, and then Faye. And then just yesterday, uh, Ada uh, made landfall in the Keys, the Florida Keys, as a 65 mile per hour uh, tropical storm. So, yes, it has been a no, no question record setting year. And unfortunately, we have potentially several more storms that are brewing in the Atlantic. And here's an area of disturbed weather that we actually been talking about for the last two days that the National Hurricane Center was going to mark a spot of interest. And they we didn't really have anything yesterday. And now we have a 50% chance of this tropical wave developing south of Jamaica. It's basically a wave that's coming off um, out in the out in the uh, the main development region, it'll propagate westward, and over the next several days, we could have a tropical depression uh, forming in this area. And we also have another area of interest out in the Atlantic, and this has a sixty percent chance of developing. There's basically an area of a showers activity associated with this non-tropical low pressure system. Several. 100 miles southwest of the Azores, this could create uh, what they call subtropical uh, characteristics and form into a storm uh, later on in the week. But fortunately, this is moving away from the United States. And of course, then we still have Ada that to deal with. And, and we're going to be probably dealing with Ada uh, all week long, uh, unfortunately. So let's kind of walk you through. Here's the latest on Ada. Uh, it's it's basically moving west, northwest at 13 miles an hour. It's coming off the coast of uh, Florida now. And now it's coming back into the to the Gulf of Mexico as a 65 mile per hour uh, tropical storm. And this looks to become a hurricane uh, by tomorrow out in the middle of the Gulf. And it's pretty slow. I mean, a lot of the computer guidance has it lifting further north. And the latest track, the official track, from the National Hurricane Center has it weakening on the approach to central and northern Florida, but this won't be until Saturday. Uh, so, and that's, it'll, it'll looks like it'll fizzle out to a 45 mile per hour uh, tropical storm. But there are some computer guidance that it might not even make it uh, to Florida, and I'll show you the reasons why uh, here in a little bit. So now let's take a look at uh, the overall satellite picture and the kind of the bigger picture of what we have to work with. Here's basically ada right now you can see it's it's taken a a lot of landfall the last several two days so it's just getting getting back uh together and as it goes back into the gulf gulf uh today it'll you know strengthen and you'll you'll see a lot of these thunderstorm activities start to bubble up but when it made landfall yesterday just to kind of give you an idea you don't have to be directly in the storm just the outer feeder bands when it hit you know the bahamas and, and florida 
I had some video sent to me by in, in Jamaica. They had five inches of rain uh, within a 24 hour period and they had landslides. And so these these feeder bands can expend well away from the actual center. And, and sometimes you when you have indirect impacts could have even greater impacts than direct impacts on tropical storms. So don't get caught up on these storms that you know where the exact center comes uh, as a, for landfall because you could have uh, impacts you know well hundreds of miles away from the center uh, as these storms get together but here's the other area of interest uh, out in the out in the Atlantic uh, that gives a 60 percent chance of development and this is probably going to develop before this storm because uh, this has a pretty much a 60% chance right now. But the other area, area interest is this tropical wave that's coming through uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands right now, and it's going into the same type of environment. I mean, if you've basically seen the satellite before, it's the exact same satellite picture I was basically showing when Ada was forming in this area just two weeks ago. So in that propagated westward and then it you know intensified as a powerful hurricane made landfall as a category four and then swung around so i mean it's done an s shape but so so we're still basically dealing with ada as the next tropical feature is starting to form in this same general area because the the pattern over the united states really realistically just really hasn't changed all that much so that's why we're kind of seeing the same type of setup uh, potentially kind of plan out. I mean, the, here's Ada over the Gulf. Uh, it's going to be probably, you know, the official track takes it into uh, Florida. This is by Wednesday through Friday. Here's uh, the other feature out in the Atlantic, and this is pretty bullish now. I mean, it's got 80, 90% chance it's going to form. So realistically, this looks to be named before probably maybe this feature out south of Jamaica. So if this gets named, this will be Theta, and if this gets named, this would be Iota. <laughs> so, gosh, this would be the 29th and then the 30th storm of the season. But this is that tropical wave by Wednesday or Friday. It's right here. And as Wednesday through Friday, it'll be getting closer uh, to the islands and spreading more rain, unfortunately, uh, into these areas that just really don't need any more rain. Uh, so now let's take a look at here's the latest uh, what they call uh, uh, Invest 97L from that feature out in the Atlantic, pretty much all the computer guidance takes it well away from the United States. So this will just be potentially just a, a named storm to add to the list and have zero impacts uh, to the United States. But here's the latest model guidance from uh, Ada. And you can see as it comes back out into the Gulf of Mexico, we've got a few members that the official track takes it up to a hurricane and uh you know several of them take it to a category two hurricane out in the middle of the gulf and this the official track uh takes it from the national hurricane center into uh florida by thursday by like saturday but the crucial point is thursday so i'll show you here in a little bit some of these models are showing that it might not even make it to florida now and gosh and then swing back out in the middle of the gulf of mexico and so i'll show you the reasons why the models are actually kind of picking up on that scenario as as a, as a potential option um here's the latest uh, precipitation water index from the latest uh, gfs model coming off the coast this is on uh, later on today this afternoon on monday you can see ada diving back down in the uh, into the gulf of mexico kind of getting its act together again so it'll be close enough to uh cuba and close enough to the cayman islands again that'll be spreading some uh, showers and thunderstorms back over your area as this uh, kind of gets its act together uh, later on today and performs into a hurricane uh by tuesday as it dives even further uh you know, south and south and west and even Cancun and Cozumel might get into a little bit of the thunderstorm action by then as this gets uh, near and and just kind of really kind of really winds up. And here's the tropical wave that we're looking at uh, out in the out in the uh, the main development region that, that's propagating uh, westward. And here's uh, here's Wednesday. So this is this is when I think it's going to peak out into its strongest 
Uh, you know, right now the official has it as a category one, but some models have it even go into a category two hurricane. But notice the trough here. This is the dry air. This is the cold front that we've been talking about. And this is the 11th. And so by, by, the, by the 12th, this is the crucial day. So if, if, if this kind of hangs a little bit south, this is basically south of Florida, you know, middle of Florida. And here's the trough. I mean, this trough basically just kind of runs out of steam. The colder air just doesn't make it that far east. And this is the 12th. And this would be the crucial point. Does it pick up Ada and finally move it uh, on shore? The, you know, if, we've been, if you've been staying with me the last uh, two weeks, We've been kind of talking about the 12th through the 14th as a time frame to finally get rid of uh, Ada because this cold front that was going to be coming into the United States and finally get picked up by the trough. And that's the official forecast. But if it's not further north than what it is, it's never going to get picked up and it's just not going to make it this far. So if it doesn't, Unfortunately, this would go back out into the Gulf of Mexico and swing westward. And we'd still be talking about it uh, this weekend. And then, of course, there's there another trough that's uh, coming in from the United States by then. And that could pivot it back that way to the east. So, gosh, we, we, just, we want to finally just get it inwards and get, out, get this thing over with. But we could be playing ping pong in the Gulf of Mexico uh, this weekend, if it doesn't get picked up by the by the trough, uh, so. But here's the latest uh, EPS cyclone uh, guidance over the next ten days from the European model, and here you can see the three storm features. This would be theta if it forms ahead of this one, as it swiftly whiffs, whiffs off into uh, away from the United States. Here's the official track from. Uh, um, uh, from Ada it, as it takes it further in uh, northeast. This is the European model. And then here's the other feature, the area of interest that gave a 50% chance of developing over the next couple days. And some of the computer guidance uh, even has a, a pretty healthy hurricane hitting uh, Jamaica, and that would be uh, Negril. So we just definitely don't want that to happen. That would be a devastating impact to the island. But most of the guidance does, it ha does have it keep it further south uh, but this area of disturbed weather is just kind of getting its act together uh, right now. And here's the latest uh, GFS model kind of implies the same thing. If it doesn't get picked up, they've already jumped on board where it's not going to come back into Florida and it's going to be hanging out into uh, the Gulf of Mexico and basically kind of just fizzle out over the next uh, se seven days. Um, here's the other feature uh, south of Jamaica has a lot of the members forming south of Jamaica, some of them coming over the island. So we'll just have to watch this uh, area, the area of interest over the next several days as this propagates westward. And of course, here's the uh, Invest 97L that's probably going to be named uh, Theta. So man, there was a lot to talk about. This uh, season just does not want to end. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, please like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.